And breaking overnight, the Frank Rizzo statue is taken down in Center City. Crews used a crane to lift what has become a controversial symbol. And all of this happening after protesters tried to tear the statue down themselves. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabao joining us live from where that statue stood for more than a decade, Jan. Janelle, good morning. That's right. The Frank Rizzo statue no longer stands on the steps of the Municipal Services Building here in Center City, Philadelphia. The process of taking that statue down started right around 1 o'clock this morning, and then just about an hour later, it was gone. The towering figure of the late Frank Rizzo is removed from his spot on the steps of the Municipal Services Building in Center City, Philadelphia. His 2,000-pound, 10-foot-tall bronze statue taken down overnight under the watchful eyes of the National Guard and very few other onlookers. This is the moment that many want to see, so I guess I can represent the face of many who want to see him go. Unveiled in early 1999, the statue was a gift to the city paid for by Rizzo's family and friends. But for years, it has been a target of vandalism. The former police commissioner and two-term mayor seen as a controversial figure in Philadelphia. The South Philly native is remembered by supporters as a devoted, outspoken public servant who championed the city. But Rizzo's critics, many of them people of color, say his approach to policing and governing was corrupt and racist. His statue was set to be moved next year, but just this weekend it was once again vandalized after protests over the officer-involved death of George Floyd turned into chaos. Looting has continued for days throughout the city. And overnight, at least two more ATMs were destroyed. This one blown up around 11 o'clock at 26th and Brown Streets in Fairmount. The other destroyed around midnight in East Mount Airy at this gas station at Stenton and East Mount Airy Avenues. No injuries were reported. Those added to yesterday's total. Sources tell Eyewitness News roughly 30 ATMs were damaged throughout the city with an undisclosed amount of money stolen. We're working with the ATF who's taking the lead on these investigations uh, to figure out exactly who is behind this. We believe that is organized efforts um, and coordinated efforts as well. Back out here live in Center City, Philadelphia, you can see the National Guard is still standing by. As for that Frank Rizzo statue, it's still unclear where it's headed this morning. Of course, we will keep you up to date. But for now, we are live in Center City. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Janelle, back into you. A big development there overnight, Jan. All right, thank you.